Hello, my name is Gary Howell. I'm the founder of Morgan Walsh Consultancy. We provide IoT services to local government and also commercial companies. We're going to look at the NKE Smart Plug and specifically how to add it to the Things Network version 3 and also see how we can control it using its class C commands. The plug itself, as in this case, is UK format, as you can see, with the pins on the back. There's also a manual on and off button towards the top. To add the plug to the Things Network, we need to go to our Applications console in version 3. Here we've already created our Smart Plug application, so we're going to go to End Devices, Add End Device, and select Manually. Here we select Over the Air Activation, LoRaWAN version 101, and click the Start button. On the screen, type in your end device ID, copy and paste your app EUI, your dev EUI, and type in your end device name. Click Network Layer Settings. On the screen, select your frequency plan for Europe for us, and also tick the Class C box as this is a Class A and C device. On the Join screen, copy and paste your app key and click Add End Device. Go to the Live Data tab and here we can see the device has been created. Going back to the physical plug, we're going to plug it into our power source when the plug will attempt to join the network. So here we see the join request which has been accepted in the console. Now we plug in our load and we're going to press the manual on and off button to turn the plug on. As you'll see, the device lights up and the plug sends an uplink message uh, to show that the plug has been turned on. So here in yellow is the payload and in green is the status of the plug, which is 01, which indicates it's turned on. Also note the F port number of 125, which we'll come back to later. We'll now use the switch to manually turn the plug off. You'll notice that the load goes off and a new message appears in the console with a similar payload and the status is 00, zero which shows that the plug is in fact turned off. I'll demonstrate the uh, downlink messaging. So for downlink messaging we require two things. One is the F port number and also a suitable payload. So in our case we're going to use F port 125 as already mentioned and the payload will be formatted as an instruction for the plug to either turn on or off or in the first case we're going to toggle the plug from its current state to a new state. So in our case from off to on. So select messaging, downlink, type in the port 125 and the payload and note the code on the end 02 which is the instruction to toggle the device. We now click Schedule Download. Notice the load turns on, and back on the live data screen we can see the download message and also the upload uh, payload, including the status of 01, which shows the plug is on. Now let's turn the plug off specifically. So messaging, downlink, F port 125, same payload, except for the last byte, which is 00, zero. send, the payload goes off, and back on the live data screen we can see the downlink and also the plug's confirmation that it is in fact off. Now we're going to do the same again, but turn the plug on with the code of 01 on the end, click downlink, loads goes on, and the live data uh, is shown as status of 01. Well, it's been able to turn the plug on and off. It also reports data on an ongoing basis. So the uplink data includes things like state of change, as we've seen, active power usage, so in other words, how many watts it's currently using, and the accumulated power usage in watts per hour. These reports are configured using downlinks and can be set for time-based reporting, for instance, once every 10 minutes, or when an accumulated power has been reached, such as one kilowatt hour. When paired up with an application such as Tego.io, 
the plug can be really useful in the care situations. For instance, to be able to see when someone is boiling a kettle, how many times they boiled it, and also to see whether perhaps someone is left on a heater when it shouldn't be left on overnight, potentially creating a fire risk. We hope you found this video useful. If there's anything we can do, please do get in touch, and thank you very much for watching.